Hey, it is Alkin, and welcome back to my channel. Well, we uh, had a very interesting day today. Um, just the day after Trump uh, walks in uh, the RNC with the bandage on his right ear and sharing and um, what is it? Um, his new VP, um, JD Vance. Today, uh, another big story hits. And that is uh, Senator Bob Melendez has been found guilty on, I think, 18 counts. Originally it was eight, but they later added another eight, so it's 16 counts uh, involving um, bribery and uh, and uh, conspiracy and a lot of other stuff in there. We have to go into this. It is, it is very bad for him. So this is what happened. This is from CBS News. It says at the guilty verdict calls out for Melendez to resign by uh, Reese Anderson and Marsha Clark. So U.S. Senator Bob Melendez had been convicted on fe federal bribery charges, and pressure is mounting for him to resign. People in New Jersey want him out. The New Jersey Democrat was found guilty Tuesday following more than nine weeks of testimony. After the verdict, Governor Phil Murphy released a statement reading in part, I reiterate my call for Senator Bob Melendez to resign immediately after being found guilty of endangering national security and the integrity of a criminal justice system. The governor called or said if Melendez refused to step down, he will call for a vote to expel him. He needs to be removed as soon as possible. You already have a Democrat in his place right now or trying to run in his place. And he could easily be put in there to replace Bob Melendez. So, uh, Kim, I believe it is. In the event of a vacancy, I will exercise my duty to make a temporary appointment to ensure that the people of New Jersey had the representation they deserve. Murphy's statement continues. You know that you have uh, Kim waiting in, in the wings. So this would be helpful for him. See if he can um, be a uh, you know, senator and it might help him uh, with his election. We, but we won't, we won't know. Uh, even though uh, Melendez said he appealed the conviction, Mary says he got a fair trial. It's also showed that America, everyone, no matter how powerful, is accountable to our laws. <laughs> uh, stop short of saying no ways about the law. Senator Chuck uh, Schumer, longtime colleague of Melendez, also said he should resign. And later the guilty verdict, uh, Senator Melendez must now do what is right for his constituents, the Senate in our country, and resign. Schumer wrote on social media. Senator Bob Cory Booker joined the calls for his fellow New Jersey Senator to step down. Representing people in Congress demands the public trust, and any elected official violates that trust, it is a betrayal of the oath that we take to certain people who have elected us without that trust uh, our ability to do our work and perform our duties for our constituents is compromised Booker said in a statement the statement continues I call on Senator Melendez to resign I originally did so last fall because of the severity of the allegations against him and how they shocked the public trust now with this conviction, the urgency for Senator Melendez to step down and it's for the uh, governor to appoint a replacement, it's even more urgency. The conviction of the sitting U.S. Uh, Senator for bribery, extortion, and serving the interests of foreign powers, among other offenses, represents a sad day for our state and our country. The jury's verdict also serves to underscore the importance of the prosecutor's office, like the United States Attorney office for the Southern District, which has the difficult but critical job of holding 
powerful people who abuse the public trust accountable for this misconduct. New Jersey Attorney General Matthew Plunkin said, In my office, in the office like here across the nation, we are, will never rest in our effort to hold power to account and restore faith in our government and officials and institutions. Now we have um, Representative a Andy Kim, I believe, the guy who's running as a Democrat right now for the Senate seat. Um, yeah, who is running to replace Melendez, says that the verdict shows that the senator is guilty and unfit to serve. Kim got into the race today. The longtime Hudson County power broker was charged. I feel like New Jersey deserves a choice. You know, the people of New Jersey deserve a choice, and I'm really worried that he would survive this in the same way that he survived the last indictment and that we wouldn't have this kind of accountability that was necessary, so I took a chance, Kim said in in an appearance on The Point with uh, Marsha Kramer in March, the person who uh, helped with this article. Today, Senator Melendez is found guilty on all 16 charges by a jury of his peers. This is a summer day for all in New Jersey. I encourage the Senator to resign. Um, this is a Representative Donald Northcross said, not, not, not like the uh, other Northcross who got uh, in trouble. You know, he was uh, brought up on charges too. The state Democrat committee also posted on social media saying, this is a sad day for New Jersey and our country. We are calling on Senator to resign his Senate seat and allow us to move forward. The New Jersey state Republican leader, Tony Buck co concluded. Today the verdict is a sad day for New Jersey. I personally take no joy in the conviction of Bob Melendez. Buckle said this outcome, however, underscored the importance of upholding the highest ethical standards in public service and is a stark reminder that no one is about the law regardless of their position or influence. The convention or conviction actually of Senator Bob Melendez today should reassure New Jerseyans Confidence in our justice system. A jury of his peer convicted Senator Melendez of all the charges, including bribery and extortion, and demonstrate forcefully that the in respect of your power position, no one is beyond being held accountable for violating the law. Assemblyman Speaker Craig Coffin said, those are entrusted by the people with representing their interests should use that honor faithfully when they fail to do so they should be held accountable today senator melendez was it is now time for him to resign immediately in the best interest of the people the state of new jersey and the nation so melendez was accused of accepting lavish bribes like gold bars in exchange for political influence alleged acting as a foreign agent benefiting the government of two middle east countries because i can't pronounce one of them the other one's egypt as well as three New Jersey businessmen. One already pleaded guilty and testified. Um, the other two was uh, on trial with uh, Melendez. We still don't know what what's the uh, verdict going to be against them yet. The FBI raided Melendez's home back in June of 2022 and uncovered more than $480,000 in cash stuff inside envelopes and closets. The powerful Democrat pleaded not guilty to 16 Felony counts, including bribery and extortion. I can imagine Donald Trump saying, "Oh, look at that! He's an amateur." Uh, see, I I got 34 indi uh, indictments and convictions, and he only got 16. And uh, uh, he, he's nothing like me. No, I'm better than him. <laughs> well, we're not gonna get into that. That's silliness. Obviously, I'm deep, deep, deep disappointed by the jury's decision. I have faith that. The law and the facts did not sustain that decision, and they will be successful upon appeal, Melinda said outside the courthouse. I had never violated my public oath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had never been anything but a patron of my country and for my country. I had never, ever been a foreign agent. Mm -hmm. And the decision rendered by the jury today would put at risk every member of the United States Senate 
in terms of what they think a foreign agent would be. Oh. Well, we know what a foreign agent would be. Just look in the mirror, Bob. The U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York said the case has always been about shocking levels of corruption. Hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes, including gold, cash, and a Mercedes-Benz. This wasn't political as usual. This was politics for profit. And because uh, Senator Melendez has now been found guilty, his years of selling his office to the highest bidder has finally come to an end, the office said in a statement Tuesday. This is also an embarrassing move for Jack Smith, who had Melendez in his eyesights before, and he screwed the case up. This is why the Trump cases are not doing so well under him. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Because Bob, Senator Melendez has now been found guilty of years of selling his office to the highest bidder finally come to the end. The office said in a statement Tuesday, corruption isn't costless, erodes public trust, and it undermines the rule of law. That's why we are so committed to finding it regardless of political party. The sentencing will be set for October 29. Now, his wife was supposed to be also uh, on trial, but right now, uh, that's on hold because uh, she's um, uh, getting treatment for breast cancer, and we don't know if, if ever, she will uh, go on trial. But the thing is this, originally they said it was eight uh, charges, and then it went up to 16. So originally he was looking at originally tw up to 20 years in prison. Now he's looking between 20 and 200 years in prison, which either way, if it's served one after the other instead of all at once, he might be dying in prison. So that's the severity of the situation. And like I said, Jack Smith originally brought charges against Bob Melendez, and he royally screwed up. That is why I'm so hard on this guy, because he screwed this guy's case so bad. That's why Bob Melendez is still a senator until he got caught again in 2022. This time, the government's prosecutor did the right thing, and that's why he got charged and convicted with all 16 counts. And I believe me, I don't think any court in, in the country is going to help Bob Melendez. Not in New York, not in New Jersey, not, not, and not the Supreme Court. He's cooked, he's over, he's done. He's flat as a Cuban sandwich. And by the way, that nonsense about him saying, oh, you know, we were worried about Castro, uh, you know, taking our money. That's why I hate everything. He wasn't born in Cuba. He was born in, 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 in the States. So that story didn't wash either. Jury didn't buy it. So, there you have it in a nutshell. Bob Melendez is now a convicted Felon, just like Trump and just like Hunter. Oh, yes, the memes and the t shirts will be writing themselves. Sorry, Jack, you're whack. You should take a clue from uh, your colleagues here in the Southern District. They did a fantastic job of going at the bomb lenders and sealing the deal and sealing his faith for prison. And you can't even get Trump on one charge. Oh yeah. Now go home and cry on your five dollar foot subway. Well, that's what CNN says, but you know, there is no such thing. The only thing for five dollars today that's a foot long is a cookie. So he he got downgraded from a sandwich to a cookie. What a shame, Jack! You whack. 
So this is how I can say so long for now and don't forget to stop. Woo, this video is long. But the sentencing for Bob Melendez is going to be longer than this video. Take care.